So Glenn, mm -hmm. uh, you produced three different games that people can use yes. as they're trying to learn English. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, and the first one I'd like to talk to you about today is having fun with phrasal verbs. Mm -hmm. And I see you got a copy of it here. Can you explain to us kind of what it does and how it works? Yeah. Um, I've discovered throughout my teaching that a lot of people have trouble with phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are things like pick up, go out, things like that. They have, have a verb and then a particle or a preposition that goes along with them. Okay. And it's been very difficult for a lot of students to learn these. So people say, what is the best way to learn phrasal verbs? Well, that's how I came up with this game. This game has 600 different phrasal verbs. Wow. And yeah, there are thousands of them. <laughs> 600 of the most common in English. And what I did is I color-coded them so that we start with several different levels. For example, the, uh, the lowest level, which is the most common, is yellow. Okay. And there's 60 verbs there. And then we go to the next level, 60 more verbs. The next level, red, which is 60 more phrasal verbs, all the way up to 10. So there are 600 altogether. And instead of just having the students memorize a list of phrasal verbs, we have them use them immediately, interact with them immediately. So what we do, for example, we can uh, start with this little game. And the little game has the instructions here. And what you do is you have the students just throw the dice, roll the dice, and then according to the number that they roll, they will be given a task to do with the phrasal verb. And the task increases in difficulty depending on the number they roll. So if they roll a one, then it's a very simple it's task. It's their lucky day. <laughs> yes. If they roll a six, then the task is going to be much more difficult. All right. So the tasks are very simple. For example, it says, number one, say your phrasal verb aloud. Tell whether the verb is separable or inseparable. Okay. For example, pick it up would be separable. Okay. Come in is what we call inseparable. We would not say, come it in. Sure. And so the first task is that they have to decide whether it's separable or inseparable. And that comes off of a and yellow card right, down yes. here? The yellow card, the, uh, the uh, separable or inseparable information is written right there. Oh, right on, on the, the back. Right on the back, yeah. And so the cards, what do the cards do then? Yeah, the cards come in. We have people just... You can mix them up or you can do one set at a time. So, for example, if I want to work with just the yellow cards, which are the easiest, I'll take a card and I will roll the dice and I get a four. And the task says, um, use your phrasal verb in a sentence. So I will say, come back. And then I say something like, when did you come back from your safari in Africa. Ah. And so immediately I have to use that. Okay? So let's say I choose a different word. And the word is, the phrasal verb is give up. The task here, I roll a two, for example. The task says, say your phrasal verb out loud and find the meaning of your phrasal verb on the back of this page. So I have a little map, matching exercise. Oh, and then I have great. to look, the definitions are over here on the, the right, and the words are over here on the left, sure. so I just have to find the definition. So it's a little bit easier task. Yeah. Then as it gets higher, say that I roll a five, and the task says, say your phrasal verb aloud, define your phrasal verb, tell what it means. Oh, okay, I see. so then I pick a card, work out. Now, this particular one has several different meanings. For example, it can, I can say, I work out every day at the gym, meaning I exercise. Sure, sure. Or I might say, how did that um, project, work. project work out? Uh -huh. So it could have several different kinds of meanings. Sure. So all of these things are contained, the instructions are contained on the uh, first part, the first side of the, uh, the uh, card, or the, the large card. And then you have the matching exercise. And then we also have sample sentences and finding the definitions. So the students can so refer to this anytime. They need. Everything they need right there. That's awesome. Yes. So that's having fun with phrasal verbs. And 
I've used it in a lot of classes. The students love it. They like the step-by-step -step nature, and they like to uh, practice on their own. You can do it. You can do it in groups, or you can do it individually. If you sure. just want to do some self-study and practice, you can do that as well. Fascinating. Wow, what a great tool. Thank you.